Hey guys, what's up today? We're looking at finding the arc length of two different curves. The first curve we have here is a vector function and it's r of t equals 2t comma t squared comma 1 3rd t cubed and t ranges from 0 to 1. So integrating this is going to be actually pretty straightforward. We just have to see uh, the tricks along the way. So to get the arc length, the arc length of a curve, uh, we have to Remember the formula. The formula is s equals the integral, in this case from 0 to 1, magnitude r prime of t dt. So what that means is we need r prime of t. So what's r prime of t? Just differentiate this thing. And that's going to be 2 comma 2t two comma t squared. Now magnitude of that it's going to be square root 4 plus 4t squared plus t to the 4. So that's just taking the magnitude of a vector right there. Now, here's the trick. So I have to integrate magnitude of r prime, which is basically this square root function. But that's not very friendly as far as integrating goes. So hopefully I can reduce this somehow under the radical so that it's easier to integrate. And it does turn out to be a perfect square. So notice that under the radical, you can factor this thing as t to the 4. So take the square root of that, t squared, plus 2 quantity squared. So that is very interesting. Now, that is the perfect square. Let's, let's just make sure that that is actually the perfect square. If I square it out, that's going to give me t to the 4 plus multiply and double. So that's 4t squared plus the last one squared, which is 4. So yeah, this is actually what it should be under the radical. So this is going to be the integral from 0 to 1. So t squared plus 2. Otherwise, I'd have to take the absolute value. But I don't have to take the absolute value here, so that's my integrand, t squared plus 2 dt. That's super easy to integrate. That's just t cubed over 3 plus 2t from 0 to 1. Plug those in. Actually, pretty straightforward. You get 1 third plus 2, which is going to be 7 thirds. And that is the arc length here for the first problem. All right, so our second problem says find the arc length of the curve r of t, where r of t now is cosine t comma sine t comma natural log of cosine t. So just again, we're going to start off with our arc length formula. We know that it's going to be s is equal to the integral, in this case 0 to power over 4, magnitude r prime dt. So what is r prime of t again? So r prime of t is going to equal derivative of cosine is negative sine. Derivative of sine is cosine t. And derivative of natural log cosine t. So that's going to be a chain rule. So first I do 1 over cosine. And then derivative of cosine is negative sine. Well, actually, that's just tangent, so I'm going to use my um, trig knowledge to say that that's just tangent t. So now I'm going to take the magnitude of r prime, and that's going to be square root sine squared t plus cosine squared t plus tangent squared t. And aha, uh -huh, one more thing that can simplify from trig is this is just 1. So this is equal to the square root of 1 plus tangent squared t. The square root of 1 plus tangent squared, well, 1 plus tan squared is just secant squared. So this is the square root of secant squared t. And now its absolute value of secant t, if I take the square root, as long as you know, secant could be positive or negative, but we're on the interval 0 to power over 4. And secant over that interval is positive, so I could just say that this is just secant t right there. So this is actually what we're going to be integrating. So secant t is what magnitude r prime is over this interval. 
So this is going to be integral 0 to power over 4, integral of secant t dt. Now, here's a tough thing. Um, integrating secant, there's, there's really just one trick to do that. And hopefully you remember the trick from uh, single variable calculus. But the trick is to multiply top and bottom by secant plus tangent. And then you get a u sub for the bottom. So actually this integral is natural log absolute value secant t plus tangent t from 0 to power over 4. Now plugging in those bounds, that's going to be natural log of secant of power over 4 is square root of 2 plus tangent of power over 4, which is 1, minus natural log uh, secant of 0 is 1 plus tangent of 0, which is 0. So natural log of, z of 1 is 0. So actually, the answer is just natural log absolute value 1 plus square root of 2. And that is the arc length. So a little bit tricky there on the integral. Um, just have to remember the integral of um, secant t. But if you can do that, then, you know, this should be a piece of cake. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, just put them down in the comments. I'll check them out and uh, try to answer every single one of them. Thanks.